seven-week-old child receiving vaccines at a primary health center. Interventions such as immunization and early treatment of common childhood illnesses have been shown to be the most cost-effective ways of preventing many under five deaths and reducing the duration and severity of childhood illnesses. <laughs> At primary health centers, mothers are expected to be educated on the importance and schedule of immunization. The levels of the immunization is from birth to 59 months. But the first important ones is from birth to 11 months. They should take immunizations like BCG, which prevents tuberculosis, OPV, which prevents poliomyelitis, hepatitis B, prevent the infections of the liver, the pentavalent, three doses at six weeks, 10 weeks, and 14 weeks. And those one will prevent diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, hemophilus, influenza, and hepatitis B. Then at six months, we give them vitamin A, which prevents blindness. And at nine months, we give them measles vaccines, which prevents measles infection, then yellow fever, which prevents yellow fever infection. They will now take the vitamin A every six months on the, ch the child is five years. While women are most of the time at the forefront of ensuring that their children are vaccinated, a self-employed father, Judge Toby, is not leaving his child's health to chances and feels that men should have more than a passing interest in their children's health. Child care should be number one. As a father, I wouldn't like my child to pass through any kind of illness or strange sicknesses. So me making it very, very important. Uh, I feel it is one thing I should always support my wife to do. As part of strategies to reduce child morbidity and mortality, Nigeria is currently implementing the expanded program on immunization and the polio eradication initiative. Going by figures from 2013 Nigeria Demographic and Health Survey, immunization coverage in Nigeria has improved. The proportion of children aged 12 to 23 months who received all basic vaccines almost doubled from 13% in 2003 to 25% in 2013. While this improvement is appreciable, it still fell far short of meeting up with the Millennium Development Goal 4 target of reducing child mortality by two-thirds. There are different reasons why people don't think it's important. One of it is ignorance. Some social beliefs or myths that they think that if they immunize them, that they will become infertile. I would have said poverty. It's not poverty because immunization is free, it's safe, and it's effective. My advice for all mothers that are not completing their immunization is that they, will try, they should try as much as possible to complete the immunization because if they miss anyone, it means the infections can come back. There are some that are meant for three doses. If they take just once, they have not prevented the infection. The setback experienced by Nigeria at the tail end of the second quarter of 2016 after being polio-free since July 2014 has put the country in a new race to end polio. Aside from routine immunization, several national supplemental vaccination campaigns have been ongoing for children zero to 59 months. We have a lot of house-to-house -house teams that are deployed, like in the current round now, that is gonna start in April 22nd to April 25th to give out this free oral polio vaccine just to ensure that we're increasing the herd immunity. As many children as possible that will be immunized will be helping us increase our protection against the occurrence of these diseases. There is nothing called overdose, especially in the event of our oral polio vi vaccine. According to the World Health Organization, some of the solutions to the most preventable causes of under five deaths include skilled attendance for antenatal, birth and postnatal care, access to good nutrition and immunization. No child should be denied of this. 
Yomi Otaibo reporting for Channels Television News.